Uh, well, something a little bit different this, this week. Um, got my uncle Nigel here from up in Nelson. Um, keen pig hunter as well. So we've got some information. Back, back country of Kaikoura, there's a few good boars hanging out. So we're going to head up into a hut there, fly in with a chopper. We've got four dogs and, yeah, a bit of action, hopefully. Yeah, on this trip we've got one of Nigel's main dogs and we've got Midge from one of the other programs. And yeah, you'll see a couple of little dogs here. They're 12 months old, those two pups. So we'll have a go with the main dogs for a start. And then if we have a bit of action with them, we'll put them away and take the pups out for a bit of a lark. A great deal has changed in the years since the devastating 7.8 Kaikoura earthquake of 2016. But one thing's remained constant, and that's the fact that this steep and broken countryside provides prime pig hunting opportunities. And with a couple of days of fine weather forecast, the fellas are justified in having high expectations of success. Yeah, we thought we'd take advantage of the chopper, so we've uh, put two dogs aboard these little cases, so a couple of dogs are secure inside the hut. We're going to, um, yeah, we've got a couple of dogs in the back of the chopper and just our day gear. We're going to head up for the afternoon, drop right up high, up in the high stuff and sort of work our way down. It's sunny today, so we've got a nice breeze coming up the faces. So hopefully, yeah, we'll just sidle around above some nice guts and hopefully come across a couple of good boars. That's the ridge we're going to come down. Yeah, on the that's the one we're going to come down. So just off the head of it. OK, we're going to sidle around this side of it. So we've um, modified our design this time. Over in the Chathams we lost one of these harnesses with the camera and everything on it, so this time you can see I've bolted a tracking collar onto it. So yeah, from this cross we don't lose this one. While well, the chopper's taken off about 10 minutes ago, we're just letting things settle a bit. Having a good glass around, there's some old pigs on in the top of these gullies and you've been told they hold pigs at times, so there's probably not going to be anything real handy, but um, yeah, further down certainly looks pretty good. Yeah, so Scout here is um, one of Nigel's main dogs. It's a reasonably soft baler. He'll bail sort of 60, 70 pound up, which is similar. So yeah, anything 80 pound and above, we should get some decent bailing action. She's thirsty work already. Man. It's certainly dry and dusty work hunting these hills in mid-March, but the rising thermals provide a reliable breeze for the dogs' keen noses. No, we're just trying to come up with a cunning plan. There's some nice area over here for us to win through. The wind's coming up nicely. But right down in the gully, there's a nice flat that looks perfect for pigs, so we might have to drop down and then sort of cut, sidle up. Yeah, trying to figure out how to cover the ground best. So we want to hunt through there. Sort of down in that zone, yeah. As the team descends, they're careful to spend time glassing the country below and to allow the dogs time to pick up any pig scent which may be carried on the warm breeze. Get ready over here, this dog's just gently making his way down here, so they've been sort of sniffing every now and then. It's a good sort of spot down here with all the flaxes. There could be could be a pig bedded up. It's looking more and more like it. As it turns out though, it's not the dog's noses that hone in on the first pig of the trip, but the keen eyes of Nigel. Tim, there's a pig just up there by that rock. That's the one he's been wondering, eh? Yeah. See that big rock? Oh no, that's a bloody good boar. Yeah, that is, that's, that's a good quirk. So we'll get round here now, get above it. Hold on, where was it? Yeah, get above it now, Tim. Yeah. Do you see that big rock? Just see? It's just above that. So we'll get above it and get the wind. Shifting wind means the team must make a mad dash to gain enough elevation in order to prevent their scent from drifting towards the unsuspecting boar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are, here we are. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Good stuff. Get him bowed. Good stuff. That's an awesome start. Good boy. But you can't see it yet. There we go. Now. Man, so we've got a good bow here. It's a nice pig. Nice ball, good blue one. So yeah, just what we're after. Yep, Midge is on him there. Sweet. Right, so I'm gonna sneak in and shoot it soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brave, mate. This is what we come here for. Yeah. Right, so he's good and settled. You'll see he's not, not disturbed. He's just gonna stand there, hopefully, if they don't get too close. So we've got time now. We've got time just to slowly sneak in and shoot him. So just come around above him. Come around above him, yep. We'll shoot him probably on, from on top. If you if you come in from below them, they smell you. They're just gone. They'll be out of it. Man, so uh, get to break in the old Bagara. First uh, first kill for this. So yeah, lucky bullet. Yep. So Mitch just got scoffed at. Midge is certainly cutting things close, getting right in on the ball before darting away downhill out of reach. I need to be careful though, as these Kaikoura boars have both razor sharp tusks and razor sharp reactions. I've had a couple of goes of Midge there, he's getting a bit, bit keen he knows we're coming. So, um, gonna have to be relatively quick now. Might end up with a rip up otherwise. He's looking back to see we're coming. A bit of confidence with us coming, Midge might fly in yet. Hopefully not. Now we've got to watch because uh, dogs are behind. We've got to be careful now because there's uh, dogs right behind it. We don't want a bullet to come out. Scout. Good boy. Mitch. He's scared. 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 Yep. Nigel, keep back because I've got a gun here. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Hehehe, <laughs> Mitch, catch him, catch him, catch him. Yeah, good shot. Sweet ass. Shot. Right. shot, nice thing. Man, it's a good start. The graze of it. I saw him all bristled up, you know. Hehehe, hehehe, Oh, good stuff. That was a good result, eh? Good shot. Yeah. When I saw him, I was in quite a hurry to get up there because I thought if that wind drifted around here, he'd be. Whoosh. Gone yep. out over that ridge and worked out perfect day. Eh? Like we, we popped up onto that saddle and originally we were sort of going to go around lower than what we were here, but Nigel just looked past me and saw, saw the pig up in here. We're blooming lucky, really, that he, you were looking looking past me, eh? If we'd gone another 50 metres, he would have winded us, we would have never seen him. Nah, gone. Snuck off out, so yep. yeah, great result. And the dogs come around, bailed him straight away. Good job, Scout, eh? Not a, not a bad size, you reckon? About 90, something like that? Yeah, something like that. So. It's not bad. No, you won't. Might hit the 100 mark, but... Yeah. Oh, he's got smashed tusks with that. That one off. Looks reasonably huh. sort of fresh, too. He might have done that when he... He's when after he Midge a couple yeah. of times, wasn't he? This tusk freshly snapped off. It could have been when he had a bit of a go at the dogs just then. That one there, clean break. Yeah, so this is what they call a blue boar. So, um, yeah, sort of a bluish grey colour, and there's a lot of them in this Kaikoura region. It's sort of yeah, here and down Canterbury ways, you get quite a few, so... Um, up Nelson our ways, there's only a couple of regions where you do get them, but um, yeah, certainly fairly common through here. I think it's because a lot of this shaley country, they're hard to pick out, so the black ones get shot out pretty quick and the grey ones seem to survive a bit easier. Are we going to try and take any out? Definitely. Bugger that. It's a long way, isn't it? Oh, hell. Dave here's pretty keen on trying this Kaikoura wild boar, so Tim's going to whip a back leg off and... <laughs> Dave's going to cook it up at the hut, we're hoping. If we're a bit closer to the hut, we'll take a bit more of it out, but since we're such a long way, we've got the chopper to drop us up here. We've got a big mission out yet, and on picking, we're going to pick quite a few. I mean, we're going to catch one or two more pigs, so um, we'll get more than enough for a feed out. So we're just going to take a bit off this one in case we are a bit lean later on the trip, take him out and chuck him in the game safe. So. Dave's pretty keen on some pork, so we figure we're going to chuck it in his pack for a trip out. <laughs> 
I did all the work ca uh, shooting the thing. It's Dave's turn to carry it. Sweet. It's actually quite light. We take two. Yeah, so we figure we might might chuck them on the Traeger and uh, yeah, smoke them after we've had them in a brine for a week or so. So. I always go rock. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Bugger. Hey, yeah. Oh, well, we were having a bit of an argument there on who was going to carry it. Dave reckons he's got too much camera gear. and So we paper scissors rocked it and I've drawn the short straw, so I guess she's going in my pack. Right, eh? Unfortunately, a little extra weight in the pack soon becomes the last of Tim's worries, as it's discovered that our old bait Midge didn't actually come through his encounter with the boar completely unscathed. Yeah, but I'll just put a stitch in it, it won't hurt. I've just got a little tag here from a tusk off that pig, so... Good boy. Just closing it up makes it a little bit easier for the blood clot. Yeah, carry on. We're going to have to watch Mitch don't bleed out here. Pig dogs are incredibly hardy beasts. But with the amount of ground yet to cover to get back to base, Tim must pay close attention to his good mate to ensure that things don't deteriorate. He's not looking quite so quite as perky as he was, Notch. I don't reckon. Have to get a call out. They'll be able to take him back to a vet. Mitch, come here. Mitch, come here. Mitch got a little poke in the back leg off that last pig lot. Not a big poke, but it's just con yeah, bleeding quite a bit, so. We're just keeping an eye on him. It keeps, um, the clot keeps coming out and he's dripping again, blood. So we're probably just going to get out to a flat spot and just assess him then. And uh, yeah, if we have to, we'll get him a medivac. <laughs> That's good. After another half hour, it's clear that Midge's health isn't improving. Come on. Midge. Come here, boy. He's definitely slowed down a lot. I think we'll fly him out here. Yeah, so we're just. Um, Using the inreach to get a message out to the chopper pilot. Hopefully he can come up and pick up Midge, take him out to the vets. He's yeah, he's lost a bit of blood now, so it's definitely we've definitely got to take him out. It's a bit of a shame if you if you just stopped where we were up there uh, for the night, he'd just congeal up all right, and um, yeah, he probably would have been fine by the next day. But yeah, having to move out so far, we've got a long way back to camp yet. Um, so we come around to where a chopper can get to, and yeah, he's bleeding a little bit, so we're probably safest to get him out. Snapdown. Well, it's just some Salox, um it's a clotting agent. I'm just trying to jam it in the hole as much as I can. Good boy, good boy, good boy. All good, chopper's on its way, so yeah, send old midge out and the young ones are going to have to step up to the plate, I think. Got to go to the bench early. Yeah, we do. First pig and we're down one. Bloody hell. Yeah, he's been a good campaigner for the show, old midge, so yeah, he's sort of earned his juice. He's, he's allowed to chop it right out. At the end of the day, it's just another thousand bucks or something, isn't it? Like, it's a small cost when it comes to your dogs. They come first, don't they? Hey, he's seen us now. Sweet. Oh, he is looking a little bit sore, aren't you, mate? You'll be alright, little flight out. We'll come pick you up in a couple of days, eh? How you doing? Only one poke. We managed to whack some salox in there. Yeah. So yeah. once you've got that in, you've got to take them to the vet. Oh, okay. The vet scrapes it all out and then um, fixes them up. No worries. Right. So just, yeah, if that's cool. That's it. It's an easy decision, really. Midge is more than just the working pig dog. He's a loyal mate, and he's certainly paid his dues for the show over the past seasons. Now Midge has sent their message. Um, 40 minutes. It works pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah. Not long at all. Boys are getting sore feet, too. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of puff. Oh well. <laughs> One dog gone. Up to the uh, yeah, up to the pups that's and step up there. That's the way to get back to the house. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> yeah, yeah, too easy, wouldn't it? I've never had that treatment. Hey boy, you alright mate? Hey, you alright? You alright? Yeah. There you go. Hey. Right, so we've got Pepper tagging in for Midge today. She's um, just a young dog, about 12 months old, but yeah, hopefully two of them will get a good old bail on for us. Takes a bit of faffing around in the morning, eh? Go over here, eh? Not going to take long to warm up, is it? No. 
Feel my body heat now already. <laughs> Haven't even started. I'll get on top of that knob and we should be right. Yeah, put in that effort early on, get up there and it'll be nice once we get on that main ridge. Yeah. So go up there, we'll try. And then up. Yeah, it's after hard to see on camera how steep it is in this stuff, but yeah, she's certainly um you wouldn't want to lose your footing. It's not ideal this. Are you alright? Once you get to here, it's alright, yeah. It always pays when you're like this to, um, if a mate's up ahead of you, not be in the direct line, like a couple of oh, decent sized stones just come past then. If he was directly above it, it's gone me in the head or something like that. So you just, yeah, work together, make sure you're never in that dangerous position, straight below someone else. You can't trust the ground at all, though. <laughs> Once through the gnarly rock face, it's a much safer grunt for the team to get up to the main ridge line in order to open up a view into some promising looking country beyond. You'll pop over and look into some fresh country here. Yeah. Go up a further, shall we? Yeah, we've got a reasonable pig mark here and it's heading in the direction where we're going, so it'll be two or three days old, something like that, but heading up into the areas we're going. Go and hopefully catch up with them. As morning wears on, finding a pig proves difficult, but that isn't the only problem for the team. It seems that young Pepper has come down with a case of acrophobia, or a fear of heights. She um, got a little fright in the shingle there earlier on. Must have just slipped a little bit and she doesn't like it, so she's freaking out in this high country. It's not ideal. We've got a long way to go in that sort of country, so hopefully she warms up over the day, but i say we'll just have to put her on a lead through the worst of it. Oh, here you go. Give me. Good girl. Good girl. Right, you're away now, aren't you? See, I had a lot of luck at certain times of the year in areas like this. Yeah. Come in here and there's pigs in here, you know? If yeah. they're here, they're here. With the afternoon ticking on and no hogs to be found, Tim relishes the chance for a bit of action as another target species is spotted. She's a bit of a drop to drop off here. Oh, a few goats here. So um, there's four that we can see so far. She's been a bit slow on the pigs. We've seen a lot of signs, so they have been here at times, but it's all older. So yeah, maybe we knock over a goat for the tragger. Yeah, we're in here, Doc's got quite a program to try and cull the numbers of, of goats. So in the hut book and talking to a mate of mine, they often shoot two or 300 in a trip in here in a week. So if we can do our part and knock a couple over, it's a good thing. Sweet as. Yep, sweet, there's another one just a little bit higher. Just a wee bit higher. A little bit further back. Oh, yep. Sweet 160. Sweet, well, that's two down. There might be another one come out yet, so we'll just keep an eye. Yep, sweet, there's another one. There's two sitting down, down lower. Sweet. Oh, that's three down. Well, that helps our mates at Dot. We want him to be able to take a leg out. You were keen on a leg, weren't you? You were keen. Oh, so there's a few more there, but we've got to save some bullets, just in case uh, we see a deer later on or whatever. Another big black billy up there in the distance, so. They stick out quite a bit, the black ones, but these, these grey ones that we've just had in front of us, yeah, pretty hard to see, so you can see how they live in this country. I can smell the billy as well, so must be gum, nanny and the billy. All right, we got them both here. All good. Quickly whip a back leg off it and see how it goes in a trager. It's underrated, the old goat. Feels a bit skinny. Yeah, we've just had a bit of a look at it and it's actually pretty bony, this nanny. It's, um, he had a kit on it not long ago by the, by the looks. There's quite a few weaned ones up there, so. Yeah, not in the best nick to eat, so we might find a nice younger one later on, I think. What about this Jacob? Yeah, no, we won't be eating him either, he stinks. I'll just try and drag him out of the water course a little bit. Um, yeah, you best not to leave him rotten right in the creek. Yeah, I might just open him up a little bit and let the maggots in there. It'll help it decompose a bit quicker. With three fewer goats kicking around the hills, the team continue on with their quest for a pig, making their way down to some lush new country. But frustratingly, it too proves fruitless. So, despite having covered a massive amount of ground, 
it seems like it's all going to be in vain. Now, we're uh, back on the ridge we come up to this morning. We're um, giving it a pretty good look up here this uh, today. Come across a little bit of sign in one spot, but that's about it. So, yeah, we're going to head back to camp and, yeah, I guess pull out the map and try and make a bit of a plan for tomorrow. But, um, yeah, certainly slim pickings. I always find when things aren't going your way on a hunt, it pays to consult the good book. Slim pickings in the heat. Three nice boars, three nice sows. 15 pigs inclusive, including two decent boars here, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, might have to cover a bit more ground tomorrow. Um, we thought we were doing pretty well first up with that board, didn't we? Thought it was going to be a blinder of a trip, but I think we're going to have to work hard for any more. As the final morning dawns crisp and clear, Tim decides it's worthwhile giving another of the young pups a run. So with the addition of Weasel into the starting lineup, it makes into a three dog operation for the day. The call is also made to hunt in an entirely new location, much further downstream from the area covered the day prior. We've sort of pushed down the river quite a bit. There's another nice, uh, nice catchment up here, so we're just gonna sort of heat up. Hopefully we've got a little bit of downdraft left. Uh, and then we'll sort of cut up the side somewhere and um, yeah, hopefully come across something, but she's slim pickings at the moment, definitely. That yeah, there looks like a pig mate, Roger. Mm, hard to tell. Yeah, so we've just broken out of some a quite nasty gully, but it's opened up really nice in here. Nigel's caught pigs here in the past, so um, yeah, perfect. The dogs have, have caught a wind and they've headed up. They've just gone through a bit of a knob into a basin, so yeah, the way they were going, they were going fairly quick, like they're on the trail or, or on a good wind, so yeah, hopefully they, they catch up to one soon. Don't know from a distance like this. Could be 80 pounds, you know. Yeah. It's way, way across there. Oh, yeah. yeah he's trying to ride her. That's a sour a hog. Boar, yeah, sour hog. Another boar. <laughs> That's why he chased that other one off, Tim. Yeah, it's good to finally find some pigs. We, we travelled all that country across the river up there yesterday. Covered some miles. Yeah, we've got right up into this nice basin and I found a bunch of pigs. There's four there at least and uh, it looks like a sour in season because there's a boar there trying to trying to ride us so hopefully we can take the dogs over and catch the boar but let's wait and see what can happen we'll head up uh, that gut over there and just get above the pigs and then pop up onto that ridge that way they won't smell us and we'll be above them get the warm air coming up from them the dogs should smell them and hopefully get onto them i don't know how we're going to single the boar out some of the more experienced dogs you know ones that i've had and they'll pick out the boar out of the bunch but these dogs it's Back in the draw. <laughs> Nigel, I'll just hold him with us. He's wanting to go, eh? I think it's where we saw them. Let him go, let him go, yep. Dogs have just gone into where the pigs were. Weasel's gone one way, the other dogs have gone the other. Looks like the pups have gone on the back trail, which is a bugger. So hopefully they figure it out and come back this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I got one. Who's that? It's 
Pois o. Para ver se qual faz. Vou ficar cura. Cura nós. Aí, ó, vai ter. Oi, it's broken. It's broken and gone this way. Yakin, yakin through here. So the pig they've tried to hold it, it's broken. They're herding down the galley after it. Where it's going to go now. Yeah, scouts honking down after it. What a bugger they didn't keep it there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating. They've, one dog was bailing, and then the other dogs got there, they tried to hold it, and it's broken and just hooned down the valley. So the bit of luck will, will catch up to it. There he goes out there. Buggery. They're not going fast though, are they? Yeah. Done the next knob. It's running a long way for a clearance pig. Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah. Heading to that real steep rocky stuff, he's going to go down into the gully. Oh, yeah. It's a grey pig that one. Yeah. Dogs are nowhere near it. I can't even see the dogs on its trail. He's gone. They're just mucking around there. They've gone nowhere. Those dogs were where all our scent in that is in the creek. What a bull's up. Oh, real bull's up there, especially when we had one. Oh, there, yeah. We know that way. Just oh, didn't man. Yeah, that's the one. It's quite a good pig. Yeah. Bugger. We needed Midge there, eh? He would have he would have pulled that up again, I'd say. Nice. Oh, yeah. Bail. Oh. Okay, well that's good. One, obviously two of the pigs have boosted out. That one's been playing possum and just, just hidden. Scout's gone back up to where they were and, and managed to find it and bail it. Hold it. Good. Unless one of the pigs turned and went back up to him. Maybe. So Scout's got another one bailed here. We're just waiting for Pepper to come up the creek. Just listen for Pepper to get there. Pepper's just about to arrive now. Here's Pepper here. Oh yeah. We just saw Pepper go through. Two dogs bailing now. That's perfect. So we probably want to get into the creek, go up the creek. At least then we can show you this. Listen. Well, they've got it caught, they've got it caught. Right. Yeah. I grabbed it, it must be sour, I think, not that poor. Should be some bacon for the Traeger anyway, this is close enough to carry out. Yeah, we've got one good boar, so it's nice to get a bit of eating pork out of the trip, wasn't it? Yeah. You alright? Oh, I've got it held. Still holding. Hopefully it's in the creek. Ah, oh, no. It's up the bank. Right. Right. Now, here it comes, here it comes. Right. Good dogs, good dogs. Good dogs. Get out. Get out of it. Get out of it. Ah, oh, sweet as. Nice young boar. Yeah, hard case that. We don't know if he doubled back or whether it was the one just playing possum, but Scout came back up the way they'd headed down. The other dogs are milling around down there, and yeah, sure enough, come back up and bailed. Yeah, Pepper come up behind him, so maybe, yeah, had snuck back up this way. Yeah, good wee result, I suppose. He's reasonable, Nick. He's not the big boar that was here with the other ones, but, um, yeah, it's a young boar anyway, so should be quite good eating. And, that's just pretty handy. These lightweight big dogs, you can chuck the hood over. Stop getting so much crap down the back of your, back of your head, but it's going to be quite good eating, and we're quite keen to try it. Chuck some on the Traeger and make some bacon, so this one will be about perfect for it. Get it back to the hut and we'll chuck it in the game safe and, yeah, chop her on out. You want a hand with the carry? No, I'll get, I'll get it out, please, plus. With the remainder of the day to get the pig back to camp, the fellas are able to take things rather leisurely, enjoying a tasty backcountry cuisine lunch by the river before the final push back to base. And once they're all packed up, it's time to head back to civilization to check on how Midge is holding up following his little adventure. Oh, time to pick up the little fella. Through here you go. Down through here. There he is. Hey, mate. Hey, Mitch. Hey. Hello. Hey. Whoa, happy to see you there, eh? <laughs> He's excited, isn't he? That was definitely worth um, flipping yeah. around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we didn't manage to get a big ball that trip. We got some cool footage on that first one, and then this guy had to get flown out. But yeah, means we can come down for another trip, doesn't it, mate? Come down and finish off the show. Yeah, get yourself another big ball. Been a few months, Midge is all healed up now. 
We're in the Polaris this time driving in on the station. Last time we were a helicopter over there, so yeah. Hopefully uh, Midge has, hasn't knocked his confidence that last, last mission, so hopefully they can do the damage for us. Yeah, so this time we're joined by Fizz. Mint weather in it, Fizz? Yeah, it's cracker actually. It's a wee bit of northwest today, so we should be right. Yeah, you can't complain in this kind of country. Beautiful, isn't it? See so what Fizz's mate Dave coming with us as well, so yeah, my dogs get a little bit tired, his ones are gonna pick up the game. We've had a bit of snow lately, so it might be a bit chilly, but it'll be good when that sun comes up. in the uh, Manuka country for Barara and Matagari, so mm -hmm. we're saying we're going to get a few prickles today. <laughs> yeah, we've we'll just come across a big Ball mark here, so. A real good pick. Very good pick, but it's not super fresh. So. No. That is a thumper. That is real big. He's just trotted right along the track, eh? They travel a long way sometimes. Yeah. Though. You're more than likely going to see them moving if your dog doesn't pick them up. Yeah, we've got a bit of a breeze coming out, don't we? So. Yeah, we'll just, uh, just spot some pigs across the river here. Yeah, yeah the weather's just decided to come in a bit. It wasn't forecast, but yeah, we've just got a little bit of rain, but we're in the mountains, of course, so. Yeah, but sure enough, the old pigs have popped out in it. So. They're quite small though, aren't they? Not worth us harassing, I don't think. You see these red berries here? So a lot of the animals are feeding on these this time of year. So uh, yeah, they push down into this lower country and feed away on this. You often see in their turds a lot of red and all the seeds out of it. And that's how it spreads a lot as well. So yeah, unfortunately the pigs and goats and stuff spread it around heaps. What do you reckon our best option is from here? Oh, I don't know. Just, we'll just get up here a bit and see if we can pick something up there. You've just got to hear him just put his nose in the air, so he doesn't normally go unless he's smelt something, so if it's not in front of us, it'll be up in the gully in the distance. We've got quite a big breeze going in our face, so hopefully he can pick one up. They just took off again, so I'd say they're getting a, a smell. Yeah, the way it was earlier, he had a smell. So Pepper's just cutting underneath us here. This weather sucks. Bloody lovely, isn't it? How far are we at? Not far down, they're only 45. Uh -huh. Whether they're just getting a bit of a whiff every now and then, eh? Yeah. Midge keeps getting a wind, eh? So, might be across the other side yet. We'll just poke our way down. With the wind and rain coming and going, Tim, Midge and Pepper traverse the rocky riverbed for a good hour or so, but with little luck. So the decision is made to mix things up a touch. I've decided to change tack a little bit. Um, Fizz is going to pick us up from where we were earlier and saw that side. We just got dropped up further up the ridge and uh, we've got a good wind to work back into it to where we saw quite a bit of sign down the other end. So. Um, Fizz is going to burst down there, we're going to walk the ridge, Dave's coming with me and we're probably going to leave people with Fizz, just in case one busts out the bottom, take a couple of dogs, hopefully get a bail up on the way down. Alongside Midge for the afternoon session is Dave's number one bailer, Jin. She's particularly good on the air scent, but up here in the higher reaches, the team have got a hell of a wind to battle into. Let me sit here for a bit. Yeah, we've climbed up halfway to where we're getting picked up. It's been windy as hell, eh? Nice little calm spot here. The dogs are just sniffing around a bit more. I'm just trying to figure out where they're living. There was marks going back past us, so they might be in a gully further back, but hopefully they're tucked up over in front of us. But yeah, it's hard to figure out in some of this country. It's so big, eh? They can just turn up anywhere, especially it's starting to get towards the evening. They might be on the move, you know, so. Hey, Tom. Do you want to cut down this side or we're going to carry around? I'll just cut down the other side. Yeah, we'll see you on that grassy sort of shit there. Yeah. Big. Yeah, she's bailing. Jen's bailing. So we'll get around and try and get Midge onto it. There's some good marks there, so hopefully it's the bigger pig.
Mitch is bad. Can you give us some backup? It's gonna work out perfect. Careful not to shoot a dog here, sir. Come here, come here. You see it? You got him? Yeah, in the chest. Yeah, sweet. So I'll shot him in the chest, so he's stuffed, but I'll get in and quickly finish him. That's a good ball, man. Good blue ball. Right. You got him? Right. He is a good hawk. Awesome. Bring him down here. Just over to this foot. Oh, he's dead. Anyway. Sweet. Good kill, Ginny. Good kill, Ginny. Good boy, Mitch. That's the one we're after. Man. Woo. <laughs> Primo. Oh, that's nice. a good ball, man. Good dogs. Good dogs, hey. Good boy, hey. Oh, he's giving a break up to you. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I just went for the uh, safer shot there. Uh, his head wasn't quite right, so I just uh, stuffed it, shit it in the chest. I knew it was going to die pretty quick, so and the dogs, yeah, after that shot, they just flew in. So, yeah, perfect result, really, wasn't it? Awesome, good kill. We'll have a look at his draw, eh? Oh, he's not a monster, but. Nasty, all good, though. Oh, bloody good, good man. That's <laughs> dope. Oh, Fizz versus out this time, eh? <laughs> but now, Mitchell's bailing, bailing well there, so yeah. definitely not got shy after that, um, that last one. He looks impressive, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good mountain ball, this one. See how he's real thick sort of here? Real sort of bristly thing, and he's sort of short and stocky, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is, yeah, big in the front end, small in the ass end. Cool pig to be getting, and you can see he's uh, he's seen a dog before. Definitely he's had a tussle and got the better of a dog, so, yeah, we did bloody well with a couple of balers. Ah, it's quite exciting like that, like, nice. um, yeah, loose only a couple of dogs. Anything can happen, easy for them to charge off. Yeah, the guys here thought uh, I was going to get charged for a minute, I was putting myself <laughs> right in there, but, yeah. I was ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, squeal. It was a bark, eh? Yeah, it was. I thought I heard a squeal too. Are they in one spot? That's no, still moving. Still moving. It was, her, it was her that gave a bark. What's happening, Tim? Uh, well, we're just sitting here getting some photos of this pig, and the, we heard a little squeal just from yeah, some pigs around the gully. Well, there's obviously a mob over there, and the dogs just took off, and we just carried on with us. And yeah, sure enough, they're boosting off after another one, so. Yeah, she's barking flat out, mate. Her bark indicator on there is just going nuts. So before it was full bars. So she's uh, she's bailing flat out. Midge, he's on the trail, but he's down in the creek. He's got all that vest and get up on, so he might be struggling. We'll quickly whip the guts out and drag him down, and then uh, head around, and hopefully she's still bailing one for us. Yeah, that's pig hunting. She goes from, from boring and down in the dumps to bloody a whole lot of action, eh? See how all the meat and hair's gone pink inside, usually from eating the bribe here, so... Um, that's obviously what they're feeding on at the moment. Do you want to start heading around there with Dave, Tom? Yeah. And I'll start taking this fella out the ridge and then I'll start heading around. Yeah, right. Yeah, so Dave's just going to drag this pig out. Um, we're going to be a bit quicker without him, so we're going to boost around and uh, get this pig. It's broken once now on Jim, so it might be a reasonable pig. Well, we've got a wee way to run around and up the main gully, but once we're there, it's not far up the hill by the looks, so as soon as we get down into the creek, we shouldn't take too long. Nice step, eh? Yeah. Always when the camera's on, I always slip over. Here's the table. She's still bailing in the same place, which is good. We've cut around, we've still got about 800 metres to go. Starting to get a bit tough, but... The lads are making pretty good time on their mad dash up the river. But this boulder country can certainly wear you out. And it's times like these when fatigue is setting in, and mistakes can happen.
broken, Dave. It's broken. Okay. I'd say it smells, I'd say. Around the corner, she's still bowing. Yep, you can hear her bowing. He keeps breaking what's that smelt us because the wind's coming up. We just need Mitch to get on the trail. Good. Good, Mitch. Good. Let's take a with these harness on. Yeah, yeah. Good break. Good break. See it going out there? Going out the face. Straight out there. See? That's a good pig. The boar's finally been spotted, and he's another beauty. But with the wind up the backsides and only one dog bailing, it's going to be a tough task for the lads to run it down. We're going to be lucky to get this. I don't know if we should be going up or just around the corner, mate. We'll go around the corner, I think, Dave. Tim's desperate to get Midge onto the boar's trail to give Jin the backup she needs to prevent the pig from breaking further. And after another hard charge upstream, finally the pig is forced down into the riverbed, and Midge is soon hot on his heels. Yep, we've got him. Yeah, it's happening on for it. Quick, quick. He's broken again. The pig bolts once more, but this time, Midge is there to help Jin pull him up. The onus now shifts to an exhausted Tim, whose job is to get in and dispatch the ball with a single clean shot. Up here. It's a good pig. I've got it out in the open here. See there? Right, I'm going to have to get in and shoot it. It's a tricky situation, with both dogs darting in and out around the ball, preventing Tim from being able to take a safe shot. With a boar of this size, it's unlikely that the bullet will pass through the animal, but it's still too much of a risk to take. Ricochets have injured many dogs and hunters over the years, so despite the somewhat chaotic situation unfolding in front of him, Tim needs to keep his cool and wait for a clear shot to present itself. The boar breaks once again, charging into the undergrowth, but Jin and Midge possess a substantial speed advantage and soon stop him once again. The pig's got an advantage of his own though, his tusks, and he manages to land a painful shot on Jin's flank. Dave, quick, on my shoulder. Ready? Oh. You got him? Yeah. F yeah. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Hit him, bitch. Hit him. Catch him, catch him! Hold him, hold him! Hold him! Hold him! Run out of bullets! Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some shooting right there! Oh. I'm in pain, man! Yeah, that was a bastard. I knew he was breaking all the time. I wasn't in close like I like to be. I took a rush shot. I'm glad he missed. But yeah, it's all quite loose. I was making sure the dog's been right out the side. Yep, sweet, and you I had to be quick. Boom, I don't know what happened, whether it's clipped it or, or just clean mist, but yeah, not ideal. I didn't think we were gonna get that pig. Oh, Hey, boy. Good girl. Coming up here, the pig smelt us. The wind was right behind us, blowing up to it, which isn't ideal, but we couldn't really approach from the top, so we just had to try. And it kept breaking. Got Midge on the trail, trying to give us some help, and he got caught up again and lost interest and came back. And then uh, it wasn't until we got right around the corner, we couldn't hear it until we were only 30, 40 metres away, and then Midge went in and joined her, but <sighs> you don't want muck ups, but occasionally you get him. Yeah, he's a nice boar. Young boar though, only small hooks. Uh, small hooks, but yeah, it's giving him a wee poke. He was nasty and he just didn't want to stay bailed. Once he smelt us, it was over. He just kept breaking and breaking and breaking. She was doing bloody well, man. 
to keep on them like that. She pulled them up probably six, seven times going around there. It's just a wee poke, but in the ribs. Good girl, eh? Without you, we wouldn't have got it, would we? Good girl. It all happened so fast, eh? I, don't, I didn't think I had any more bullets. I didn't know whether I had any more on the pack or not. I shot, missed, oh, yeah. ran over, oh, yeah. dropped my gun on York safe, and just dived in there trying to get the job done, eh? Oh, man. It can all turn to shit real fast, eh? Oh, oh we've got a bit 3K carry. That's oh, bigger than I've been picking. Oh, man. Definitely. Yeah, no, that's a good pig. I think uh, we're going to have to get to the corner down there and radio for some help, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to carry that over 3k. He doesn't look that big. I would have only picked 100 pound, but man, he feels a lot more than that on my back, I tell you. Maybe it's just me being tired, but I don't know. They can be deceivingly heavy when they're fat and he's thick through fat in the stomach when I was gutting him, so that might be it. Oh. Tell you what. Long way to go yet, Mitch. Yeah, old mate's a bit tucked out, isn't he? Come on, mate. Mitch, hey. Hello. Ooh. Times like these, it's great being a cameraman. There's certainly a fair few choice words spilt over the course of a long trick out. Oh, the slippery boulders making the carrying particularly difficult. But that's the price you have to be willing to pay for the satisfaction of bringing home the bacon. Oh, you f***ing s***. It was close. And thankfully, after an hour or so, there's a lead Linsar light at the end of the tunnel in the form of Fizz, who's generously made the trek upriver to help share the 135 pound load. Oh, I'm glad. Glad to see you. <laughs> stop, boy. Oh, that was a good mission, man. Oh, good of you to come up and give us a carry, man. All good. With another strong back, it's no time at all before the boys and the boar are at the Polaris. And once back at base, there's little else to do except sit back in front of the fire and reflect on a job well done.